What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about this 30 by 40 shop build and it's been a minute since I've been here to do an update so I'm going to try to get you guys caught up to speed. Um, the other day we were doing the uh, standing up the steel for our uh, 30 by 90 uh, hilltop barn dominium build and meanwhile Drew was here on location and we were pouring the concrete. So I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of that. All right, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay guys, I hope you're enjoying uh, seeing the progress on this build. Um, everything has been now cured. We have the concrete here in place. Um, we did get those embeds put in place and we have a 20 foot door opening that's going on here. There will be mainly three columns um, that will look like this that will stand up. And so we've got the first one fabricated, which always uh, takes the longest. But what we're doing here is we've got a 14 uh, foot eave height with a 412 pitch, um, like I said, on a 30 foot span. And so it means you're gaining about uh, four inches per foot, and so 15. So how many, how many, what's our peak height gonna be? Like 19? 19.4, something like that. Around 19.4. And as you can see, we've got our lines here. Popped a line here um, on the center. And they've already got this one pretty well ready to roll. Um, so we are using the 12-inch uh, I-beams. And we have four-foot spacing here. So we'll have Eve Perlin and then one, two, three, four... Uh, five total purlins that are gonna run across there. So uh, pretty small spans, so it's gonna be super strong. A uh, couple things interesting about this particular project that we will be doing is lining the inside uh, walls. There'll be liner panels. We will be using conventional bat insulation on this, the vinyl back insulation. Uh, so that will be happening here. Um, those are just some uh, things that stand out in my mind. Uh, another thing we'll be doing is pouring a driveway from here all the way to the uh, back to the road over that way. So um, that's another thing we'll be doing. All right, so we're gonna finish getting this steel ready to go and then we'll be standing it up. So Brandon and I have got to go uh, do something offsite on another location. So, but meanwhile, we're gonna move this trailer a little bit closer because we have to take the skid steer with us so these guys are actually unloading a lot of the steel by hand. Um, it's not too big of a problem because, um, come on back. It's not too big of a problem because it's, uh, you know, one piece at a time, but it is heavy. Uh, come over this way. I don't know why it's so hard for Brandon to back up a truck. He's got a camera on the back. Woo! Okay. <laughs> So you, can't you see know the camera, the truck's too dirty. I what? can't see out of it. What happened? The truck's too dirty in the back. Oh my! So I can't see. Okay. So, anyways, so we're gonna reposition this trailer, and then we're gonna hit the road, 
So we got a couple things we need to do and then we'll be right back. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on here. Um, I do have some select fill that I brought in and intended to actually create a better lead in coming into this ditch area, primarily for when we bring in concrete trucks. So we are gonna have to let it dry up quite a bit though, because right now it's, uh, it's pretty wet. Uh, we had a pretty good rain yesterday, about two inches or more. But um, yeah, everything's going good. We'll get him repositioned and we'll be back with more progress. Moy's gonna stay working. He's like the get it done guy, he does everything. A lot, of, a lot of work around here. And so if you guys like seeing uh, Moises welding this steel together and making it happen, he's like an all-star, Texas best all-star right here. And of course, uh, Victor's helping him out too today. What's up everybody look look at all the progress these guys have been making over here and we are just about ready to uh, pretty much be done fabbing this steel up so the plan is um, I gotta get the teleboom here so I'm gonna go early in the morning grab that we're gonna come back and we will come stand all this stuff up so we are doing just a shop here so there won't be any four inch steel all this is the 12 inch i-beams um, because you know it's all going to be uh, pretty much exposed in the shop um, you can see we have already got our base plates or our plates here this actually is where our purlins will sit on these areas um, we will be putting Eve Perlins over here on the ends, on the tops. So a lot of people don't understand, but where your height actually starts, um, you measure from the bottom, and then to get your Eve um, height, you actually have to add that other eight inches for the roof purlin that comes off on the top. So you want to deduct that out. So uh, when we come back in the morning and uh, we'll be doing that. Moises is, man, he's like a beast mode. Um, he's got everything is going to be pretty much ready to roll. And that's going to be our first brace point right there. So he'll have that ready and have one on each side. Um, so hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this update. Uh, you know, fabricating the steel here on this uh, 30 by 40 barn dough. I mean, 30 by 40 shop. And... Uh, so we'll be standing up in the morning. So we did have one incident today and I'm not sure what was going on, but I come to the job site and look, look. I was on fire. Oh my gosh. You Moy know what that to... means? He's been lying because no. liar, liar, no. pants on fire. I look down and they're <laughs> slamming my pants. Oh my goodness. I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Break it, Brandon. He's done it again. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back here this morning and it took us a minute to get set up because we had to set these skid steer, I mean, the uh, these lifts we had on the driveway, so we had to go grab those. But as you can see, We've got everything is here and we are getting geared up, ready to start standing this up. Like I said, it's a 30 by 40. All right, let's get it going. guys 
so we got the first one stood up and right now <laughs> we're having a little bit of trouble with our uh, uh, welding rig but uh, as you can see like I said this is a 14 foot eave height with a 412 pitch it's gonna be pretty sizable to give you a perspective um, you know I think this one back here this building back here was a uh, the one in the background wherever it's at okay that one right there I think is maybe a 12 foot eve height this one's a 14 foot so um, yeah it's gonna it's gonna work out nice you know these buildings always look bigger once you stand that frame right there because you don't realize when it's laying on the ground how small it is i mean how big it is until you stand it up so anyways uh right now teleboom holding her steady and we are uh tacking it down and we're going to level everything off uh brandon is not here hey victor victor where's brandon Vacation. Yeah, that's why I said probably that's why his pants were on fire yesterday for lying. He's a liar. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep moving. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel. So, all right, stay after it. So that is number two standing up and it's going pretty good. It's only 930 and we got our second bay or I guess it's our first bay is going to be completed, but we got our second beam standing up. So overall, um, we're moving, for, moving along pretty good. So that's one of the things that helps is when we're able to uh, go ahead and fabricate the steel the day before um you know that that's pretty much gives you an advantage the next day when you're trying to come stand it up because all you got to do is focus on standing it up securing everything off so that's really the preferred way to go about it sometimes if uh we don't get to start until maybe half the day or something it doesn't uh we don't end up getting to stand it all up in one day but for this build like it's pretty simple there's three main frames that we're standing and we're already two, uh, two down. Um, we just gotta stay after it. So, all right, keep moving forward. All right, guys. So we're about to stand the last one up. Uh, we're just checking, make sure this is all level before we add on any more to it. But as you can see, we do have these purlins here. Um, everything's braced off to that. And Moises is just checking the uh, end piece here. But everything's going good. All right, so let's go stand it up. guys so we've got all of each bay standing so we got three main frames that we've got stood up here and everything has gone pretty smoothly today um right now we're just securing off the final one so i'm pretty much i've got to go to a meeting 
at my kids, one of my kids' schools. So I'm gonna have to cut this video short, but I hope you guys will keep following along for the series of this build for the 30 by 40 um, shop build. It's gonna be kind of an epic man cave when it's all said and done. It's gonna have HVAC, uh, you know, insulation, <clears throat> a big 20 foot opening door. And I know our client is talking about putting a post lift. We're gonna be framing out a little storage area inside, uh, lining the inner walls with the wood. So it's gonna be a fun little project. These guys have made quite a bit of progress. I had to leave, but I decided I would go ahead and uh, show you guys kind of where we're at. It's like 3.30 and we've got all this roof purlins are on. We do have the E purlins they're about to put on right now. But uh, yeah, this job is moving right along. It's a 30 by 40 shop build and you can really start to get a feel for how much space he's actually gonna have in here which is definitely not too shabby here, guys. It's quite a good bit of space. So overall, um, we are happy with kind of how the days went, making the most out of this good weather. Um, the ground is still a little bit soggy, but we were able to get in here this morning and get this thing stood up. So we did add some additional bracing just for uh, added protection. But overall, uh, this thing is gonna be standing pretty strong. Um, we will put the Eve Perlins on. Uh, we'll also have uh, the angle that we'll put up there at the top for our sheeting. And of course, all the wall Perlins, all that to do steel. So the steel framing is still not 100% done, um, but we're all the more closer. So everything's been going well this uh, for today. Um, so if you guys, uh smash that like button also don't forget to subscribe to our channel i'm josh helm wishing you all the best thanks for watching texas best